Hey you guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Pharmacy Tech Love. This is where you learn everything that you need to know about how to be a pharmacy technician. Hey, welcome back to my channel. I'm Pharmacy Tech Love. And if this is your first time to my channel, make sure you subscribe, hit the bell if you want to catch every episode of all of my videos. Okay, so you guys know I always do a question of the day. So today, my question of the day is, what is your favorite time of the year? Mine, I would say, is summer. Because you can wear different type of dresses, um, I can wear different type of shoes, but in the winter, I'm, we're, we're always so limited to what we can wear, and then we have to wear so many layers of clothing. So my response to that is the summer. Are you a certified pharmacy technician yet? No? What are you waiting on? Your career is waiting for you. You're waiting and your career is waiting for you. If you wanna become certified, I'm gonna leave my, um, my page link and my discount code in the description. I'll also leave it in the comments. I partnered up with a company called Pharmacy Tech Lessons and I partnered up with them for a reason. I saw how well Onisha Biggs was doing on her YouTube channel. And if you want to look at her YouTube channel, just go to Pharmacy Tech Lessons. She is an amazing instructor. They have a 95% pass rate and it's a 60 day program. So that means you can, yes, you can become certified in 60 days. They cover all of the guidelines that need to be covered in order for you to pass your PTCB exam. So if this sounds like something that you're interested in, look in the comments. I'm going to pin it down in the comments or you can look in the description. I'll put it in the description as well. And I'll also leave my 5% discount code. Now, today, what we're doing is we're talking about Fred's rule. This is a very, very easy, I think it's easy formula. So I'm gonna show it to you the way that I teach it to my students and I'm sure you'll be able to understand it. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so let's get started, let's get started. This one says, and we're still using Fred's rule or Fred's rule, okay? And remember, the child's dosage is age in months times the adult dose, excuse me, age in months divided by, because I need you to do this exactly how the formula says, age in months divided by 150 times the adult dose. Okay, so there's those are three things that you're going to have to need in order to work this problem. You need this one, that's one age in months. You need this, uh, the divided by 150, simply because that's part of the formula. And then you're also going to need be, um, the adult dose because you need to be able to multiply this times the adult dose in order to get the child's dosage. So first things first, I'm hoping you can see this area here. It says a 12-month-old child needs ibuprofen. Uh, the normal adult dose is 750 milligrams. What is the, the appropriate dose for the child? That is always going to be the question when it comes to, I'm just going to go ahead and say Fraud's rule. <clears throat> okay, so we're always going to be trying to get the child's dosage because that's what this is. This is a pediatric formula, okay? All right, so first things first, we need the age in months. And it does say a 12-month-old child. So that gives us that. So the child is 12 months, okay? And since the 150 is part of the formula, we are going to divide that by 150. And if you have been watching my videos, you know that I do not want you to hit enter or equal, excuse me, equal. I want you to go right into that adult dose. And as you see here, it says the normal adult dose is 750 milligrams. So we're just going to multiply that by 750 milligrams. Can anyone divide and multiply that for me, please? So I'm going to do the same. I'm going to divide 12 divided by 150 times 750 milligrams, which the child's amount as far as milligrams, I believe that's milligrams, is going to be 60 milligrams. That's how much the child is going to receive. So I'm gonna go back through that one more time. A 12 month old child needs ibuprofen, the normal adult dose, these are the important things that we need here. The adult dose, and we, of course, we need this amount because we need to know how much the adult dose is. 
So a 12 month old child right here, 12 month old child needs ibuprofen. The normal adult dose, which that's the adult dose here. What is the appropriate dosage for the child? And that's what we're trying to achieve. That 150, I need you to remember, I have so many people that ask me, where did the 150 come from? That came from the formula, okay? I need you to know that because this is the formula. So that's what's going to stay the same. Okay, let's work out another problem. Okay, here we go. I went ahead and wrote you another one. I'm gonna probably give you maybe two more because I feel like these are, are pretty easy. They, they should be pretty easy. If not, just rewind it and go back through it again, okay? All right, still using the same formula. The most important thing is you have to get the formula memorized, okay? You have to. There are so many formulas that you're gonna have to memorize and you're just gonna have to hold them and keep them in your memory bank for the PTCB exam, okay? All right, the first, this one says, this is the second one. Um, an 18, excuse me, a 16 month old needs ampicillin. The normal adult dose is 250 milligrams. What is the appropriate dosage for the child, okay? All right, first things first, I'm looking at this formula. What is the age in months of this child? The age in months of this child is 16 months old. And you don't have to write the months, it's just that I'm teaching, so I, I need to do that for you. Okay, that 150 is just part of the formula. So I'm going to put that in the problem. And we are going to multiply what we have here we're going to multiply this according to the formula, age and months, age and months, divided by 150, divided by 150 times the adult dose. And the adult dose is 250. I need you to put that in your calculator for me and let me know how many milligrams is this child going to receive. And while you're doing that, I will also do that as well. So 16 divided by 150, times 250, I want someone to put it in the comments, put it in the comments. 16 divided by 150 times 250, that is going to be 26.6 milligrams, okay? All right, let's work out another one. Let's work out another one. You're doing good, you're doing okay, good. Okay, let's get back at it again. We have one more to do and that'll be it. Uh, these, like I said, these are pretty cut and dry as long as you have your formula down, okay? All right, um, still doing Fry's rule, child's dosage, and the way that we get that accurately. We need the age of the child in months divided by 150 times the adult dose, okay? All right, so a 26-month-old child needs fluconazole. The normal adult dose is 250 milligrams. QID, can anyone tell me what QID stands for, okay? If you don't know, you need to watch my Sid Coats video. I have two of those actually, okay? So I have a part one and I have a part two and I will be coming out with a little bit more. Okay, so QID stands for four times daily. And it's wanting to know what is the appropriate dosage for the child. So what is the age in months? The child is 26 months old, okay? And we are going to divide that by 150 because it is in the formula. And we are going to multiply that times the adult dose. Excuse me. And according to this problem, the adult dose is, here it is right here, the adult dose is 250 milligrams, okay? So we need to multiply that by 250 milligrams, okay? And they're wanting to know the appropriate dosage, just the dose, okay? Not the total amount okay just the dose say so, okay so let's divide 26 divided by 150 times 250 that is going to give us 43.3 milligrams now that's per dose now what if the question would have said what uh, is the appropriate um dosage for the child four times a day what would we have done then we would have taken this dosage and we would have multiplied it times four if the question was asking how much are we going to give this child for, for four times a day. And then you would multiply 43.3 times four, and I'll go ahead and do that for you, 43.3 times four. 
which is going to be 173.2 milligrams. But that's only if the question would have asked what would be the appropriate dosage for the child if the child took the medication four times a day, okay? That, if that would have been that question, but that's not the question. The question is what, it is what is the appropriate dosage for the child? And one dose is 43.3 milligrams. Four doses is 173.2 milligrams. I really hope you can see that down there. Okay, let's work out one more, okay? Okay, this is problem number four. This is problem number four, so let's work this one out together. But I went ahead and changed this one up just a little bit because you never know what the PTCB exam is going to throw up at you. So I want you guys to be ready for any type of curveballs that they try to throw at you, okay? All right, so again, this is still Fraud's rule. It says a 1.5 year old child needs amoxicillin 250 milligrams. The adult dose is 750 milligrams. What, uh oh, I left out is, oh, I'm just gonna keep continue on. What is the appropriate dosage for the child? What is the appropriate dosage for the child? So now we have to figure out the child's age in months, even though it's in years. So this child is one and a half years old. So we know that one year is 12 months, <clears throat> and a half, we're gonna half in that one year, so half of 12 months is six months, okay? So we have 12 months, and then we have six months. So 12 plus six is 18 months old. 18 months old. Okay. I'm just gonna go back over that one more time. We know that one year is 12 months because there's 12 months in a year. Is that correct? 12 months in a year. And then half of that, half of 12, is six. So we have 12 plus six is 18 months. Okay, so now the child is 18 months, we have to break it down because we can't put years in this formula, not, not, not according to Fred's rule, okay? So now we have the child weighing 18 months and we are going to use our 150 because that's part of the formula, divided by 150. And we're gonna multiply that times the adult dose. And according to this problem, the adult dose is 750 milligrams. <clears throat> All right, and I need to divide and multiply 18 divided by 150 times 750 is going to be 90 milligrams, 90 milligrams for that patient. If you're still having trouble with these, just leave it in the comments. Let me know exactly what you're having trouble with, but this is really kind of cut and dry. Um, it's just basically you need to pay attention to the formula, okay? Because that's what you need to get down in order to work this problem out. If you take your PTCB exam and you have no idea what the formula is, you're not going to be able to work this problem at all. So it's very important that you go through your formulas and learn each one and get those memorized. It's very, very important, okay? Learning milligrams over milliliters, how to change those, how to do, um, how to convert uh, your drops, flow rates. There's a lot of different formulas. I wish I would have brought my master formulation in here because I've created a master formulation for my students and I really need to go through that with you guys as well. Um, but like I said, if you are serious about becoming a pharmacy technician, just check out my webpage. You don't even have to sign up. Just check it out. See if that's something that you would be interested in doing. Um, you guys have a great day and this should post probably Monday and I'll see you then.